Hey, a pleasant good evening, everybody. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Bork, and if you have enjoyed the content, please subscribe down below or on the easy to use widget at the top at the end of the video. This is, of course, going to be the next Red Sox video that is going to be the series preview against the stinking Astros that the Red Sox are going to be taking on down in Houston starting tonight. That is going to be Chris Sale going in game one followed by Nathan Evaldi going for the Red Sox in Game 2. Sale is going to be facing Frambier Valdez. Both of these guys have not looked good yet in the postseason. Valdez has an 8-3-1, and Sale, of course, was not able to go at all, really, in that game and get out even of the first inning when he pitched in the game the other day. So we want to expect more, and we want to see the actual real Chris Sale tonight, see a lot more from Chris Sale, and not just see, obviously, the bad, downtrodden Chris Sale we got in his game the other day when he literally just pitched one inning and that was it. So I think we're going to expect to see the regular Chris Sale tonight. I don't think you can see back-to-back -back starts like that in the playoffs from him. He's going to at least battle better. He's going to find a way to get through the start, and he's going to react and um, have a good game plan coming into this game based off of how he got hit around and how he did not succeed. He's a smart pitcher. He's a very good pitcher, and that's why he's been so good up to this point because he's been able to figure stuff out and come back from bad outings. We've seen lefties like Kershaw do it in the past. We've seen Cliff Lee do it during his career back in the day. Now we're going to see it from Chris Sale. He hasn't had to in his Boston career come back from bad outings that often, but and especially one to that degree. But I think we're going to see that tonight, and I think we're going to see him have a good outing. And then, of course, Nathan Evoldi has been the big kahuna, the guys that stepped up all year when Chris Sale was out, and he's going to step up again, I believe, in Game 2 and have a good game. So he's going to be – those are going to be the first two guys going, and that makes total sense. Erod was able to step up for us last series. Now it's time for Chris Sale to bounce back and step up and pitch a good outing in this game, and I believe that is what he's going to do. So let's preview for game one who is going to be the lineup and probably the lineup for most of the series for these teams, I would believe. We'll start with the foe, the Astros. That is going to be Jose Altuve, who's hitting 313 this postseason, leading off, playing second base. D.H. Brantley, who's hitting 368, uh, batting second. Bregman playing third, 375 this far. Jordan Alvarez hitting 273, batting fourth. Carlos Correa has been killing it this playoff. Batting fifth at short, Kyle Tucker has been their best hitter this playoff. Uh, 294, seven RBIs already for Kyle Tucker. He is batting sixth, playing right field. Yuli Gurriel, not so far so good for this postseason after a killer season for him with the batting title. 176, playing first. Chas McCormick, after the injury to their other center fielder the other day in the final game of the series for Houston, is going to be getting the start here. And then it goes Marti Maldonado at catcher. Now, when it comes to the Red Sox lineup, they are going to have Kike Hernandez, the great Kike Hernandez, the series MVP of the last series, Kike Hernandez, leading off. Kyle Schwarber batting second at first base. Xander Bogarts at third, or at third, batting third at shortstop. Rafael Devers at the great third base position, batting fourth. And then you have fifth, the DH, J.D. Martinez in there. Hunter Renfro, sixth in right field. Verdugo, 7th in left field, who has been good this postseason, too, killing it at 348. Christian Arroyo has been doing what he needs to do, 263 this postseason. And Christian Vasquez, again, the bright lights for Vasquez, is able to step up again. The Red Sox lineup, you look at all their numbers, nobody in this lineup has bad lineup numbers throughout this season thus far when it comes to the postseason, and I think that is going to continue in this series, this series is going to be an interesting one to follow because it's going to be a battle of if Chris Sale can bounce back. Nathan Avoldi keeps pitching the way he's going. And Pavetta starts the way he pitched out of the pen, which I don't see a reason why not. He seems to be a guy that does even better with the adrenaline rush and the great adrenaline that comes with the postseason. So I think that will lead to more success for him. We already seen some goodness out of Tanner Hoke, and we see that Eduardo bounce back. So I think the it's going to be interesting to see if the Red Sox pitching does hold down that good Astros hitting or if this is just going to be a very big scoring, who can score the most in this series in order to get the wins. I will definitely give us the pitching advantage, though, to the Astros because their young guys have been struggling. Frambier hasn't 
been that good as well as also tomorrow's starter Garcia has not been very good for them in the postseason either. He has a 1688 ERA with only 3K. The only guy that's been short for them has been Lance McCullers Jr. So I think the Red Sox definitely have the advantage pitching-wise, but the Astros have a hell of a lineup, and they're starting at home, which gives them the advantage with that short port that is a lot shorter, not a lot shorter, but definitely shorter than the Green Monster, to be able to hit it out into left field there for Houston, and they tend to take advantage of that ballpark, just like our Red Sox take great advantage of Fenway Park. So it's going to be interesting to see if the pitching prevails or if this is going to have to be a very large scoring game and a very large offensive output by the Red Sox in most of the series to compete with the Astros. That's going to be my most interesting thing to see. I do think the Red Sox are going to have a good chance to succeed in the series, and I think they're going to win the series as long as they do one thing. Win one of the two win one of the games in Houston to start this series before you come back to Fenway, and then you would be set. As long as you're able to take a game down there, I think we'll be set once we come back to Fenway. you got to have Nathan Avoldi or the big Chris Sale step up for you after a bad outing last outing, and Nathan Avoldi continue to just do his thing. And if that happens, we have a potential to win both games. But you need to win one down there in order to then come back to Boston and be sitting pretty when you come back to Boston to play Game 3, which would be Monday at 8.07. So I think the Red Sox got to win one in Houston, then you're in a good spot, and I think they have a hell of a chance to win this series. Hope you all enjoyed this series preview. It's going to be interesting to see how the pitching plays up to this. I think the bullpen's going to continue to have success, but in terms of the starters beyond um, Eduardo, Sale, and Evaldi, it's going to be interesting to see who steps up there, because in a five-game series, or is Compared to a seven-game series, you don't need to use the extra starters, but now you're going to have to. So it's going to be probably Pavetta that steps in there, and I think he's going to have success, but we still need to see it in a postseason start. So peace out, everybody. Stay safe. I hope you enjoyed this series preview. Subscribe down below if you enjoy the content. Or up above, go Red Sox. Let's have that dirty water energy down in Houston and win game one. Peace out, everybody.